Hello and welcome to my manor, my manor project. As you can see, we are not in the nether right now. I have some, I have some items in my hot bar just for explanation later. And do not mind the sword either. So if, so we shall now begin as soon as I walk in the portal. As uh, we go through this video, there will be hints of lore via that this is my own creation. But along with me explaining on what is what and why is it is. As you can see, we have the three beautiful banners. We have the Horde of the Hunt, the Horde of the Bastion, the Horde of the Spore, and that's about it. And and I had separate and I have separated each each sector with its with its own necessities, which you shall soon see. This is the manor. Now I was supposed to do like three to four sentences about the manor, but I I'm on a time crunch and I'm currently doing this on the last day. Anyway, the manor. What, how stuff, how the manor, how, how a manor is self-sufficient is more around how the, is more around by what the people do. It's all trade and, pro, it's all trade and, um, trade and, uh, gain, trade and gain. For example, um, the king gives lords fiefs in order to uh per, in order for the vassals to protect the king and the peasants and the lords while the peasants then then uh farm and breed livestock which the lord will then transfer over to the king for trading with other nations the flow is really just like a food pyramid, I guess. Lowest energy to the highest. Anyway, let us begin. As we can see, we have the manor itself. The manor, I didn't really put any inner work in, but I still think I did somewhat of a good job. I did add, a f I did add some stairs to give people help to get up here because I was I don't, I don't need to explain why I just did then after that we have the main building very block like as normal with jail cells from for windows and then as a piece as a piece of lore, I decided to put in the Great Hog's Throne, the original leader of the Piglins, who sadly fell during the uh, Dimension Wars of, in Minecraft, or as we know it, Minecraft Legends. Anyway, uh, so, Horde of the Bastion done. I also decorated with it with the banners, so that's going to be often. We shall now head over to the Horde of the Spore, which I should mention, the king preferred to give a better structured way over to the Horde of the Spore, as you shall soon see, instead of the villages. So the leader of the piglins is more like a tyrant than anything. So over here we have the Horde of the Spore, which holds the, instead of a water wheel, a lava wheel to control the flow of lava and to bring it inside the shop, which is just a blacksmith area, as piglins only, piglins only, piglins only really, um, feed, pig, bleh, piglins only feast on what they hunt and, uh, blacksmith 
materials around them for like wars and whatnot. We also have the lava pool that the lava out that the lava river outside flows into. And then we have the fields over here. Oh wait, actually, hold on a sec. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, the blacksmith mainly creates golden armor, but sometimes here and there he'll get a f he'll get a few pieces of netherite and save them up, and that's how he can create like boots and helmets. Never created a full piece of netherite armor, just that. Anyway, uh, so here we have the peasant f fields, or like the regular piglins, and... This is basically the lowest food in in the field. It's warped wood, so it doesn't taste that good and can kind of damage you if you eat like, I don't know, 10 years of it straight, which will cause like fungal growth on you. Then we have the crimson, the crimson, um, the crimson fungus. Uh, it is uh, basically uh, the richer, better tasty version of the, um, of the warped wood. Do not mind the top thing. Uh, anyway, so the reason I say this is that the, the reason that this side gets better passage is because the crimson trees is what the Lord mainly eats. So it can, so it can basically be the strongest and still be still be a tyrant and no one else is allowed to is allowed to eat this stuff but secrets the piglins do try to snack on it every once in a while when the owner isn't working when the when the owner isn't around which is pretty often but normally they have to eat this uh, Anyway, that's it, more beautiful banners, and that's it for this area. Now, what I meant about the passageway is this. He provided like pretty good stairs. We don't, they don't have to like completely fall in lava, but it is very rickety as just one line, no support. And then they have to like climb onto this. And then we have the uh, piglin housing, which kind of looks like temples, to be honest. And uh, here's the kicker: they have to use gold. Id they have to use like gold weapons in this, so they kind of have to like pry these doors open, which can break their pickaxe really, really easy. And this has to happen for, and, and since there's like multiple, they have to do this like every day. I have to go find some more gold, maybe I have to steal it, and then create the uh, pickaxes. And then we have the pasture. Now, there aren't a lot of food like, uh, there aren't a lot of animals in the nether, but there, but there are the uh, kind of biological cousins to the piglins these are hoglins they basically and instead of like taking care of them the piglins they'll just hunt them no particular reason at all i think it's probably because that they're starved to death from eating warped warts so yeah there's that then we have the church of the seer which basically is like a safe haven, no wars, nothing between the three factions. And uh, here, this is going to be a bit demonic, um, is a kind of a blood ritual. As you see in the nether, they don't really have access to any type of godly spirit besides the wither. So they, what they do is just put some gold on the ground hoping to talk to the wither and then summon back their royal king by reading the book of why.